Greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I the First, Ja Rastafari, yeah. ever living, ever faithful, ever sure. This is ReggaeTelevisionNetwork.com, and we're coming to you live from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. And this is September 1st, 2012, the Sabbath morning. Yes, this is the Sabbath morning, and as usual, I always tell you, read Psalms 119. It's that Psalms that is a cleansing Psalms. It's a cleansing Psalm. It, it, um, it uh, gives you the, the weak perspective that is, that is past, give you the perspective for the weak past, and it gives you vigor for the week ahead. So read Psalms 119 anytime during the Sabbath, and everything will be all right. This week in studio, we've got four, three guests. See, I'm counting. Three guests. And uh, we have a musical guest that is uh, Jimmy Reed, and later on you'll hear him because I'm really looking forward to hearing Jimmy sing to us. But before Jimmy sing, we're going to talk about a burning issue in the community. This is happening at Jane and Finch, and we want everyone to know about this. Everyone should hear and understand that things are happening, and they should know. So to bring us up to date, we have in our studio this morning, we have Reverend Sky Starr. Welcome, Reverend Sky. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. And we also have Carmel Henry. And uh, she will tell you what she that what she's doing for this uh, this this movement, and also give us an insight what's going on. So now we we talked a little bit about this before, but you want to tell the people what exactly are you two ladies fighting for, Reverend Star? Well, I'm fighting to have a principle that we have had at Westview Centennial. First of all, Westview Centennial is one of the high schools in the community, one of the largest high schools. Actually, I shouldn't say one out, the largest high school in the community. I think attendance right now is uh, over 1,300 students. Okay. And um, it's a central, a central school. A lot of activities happen happens there. But the, the key thing is that the principal who has been there for the past three years mm -hmm. has connected with the community, understanding the vision his vision. First of all, he's a visionary leader. His name is Patrick Knight. Mm -hmm. And he understands that we can't have students in the school without a community. Right. I mean, students come from somewhere. Right. And the somewhere that they're coming from is the community that they live in. Family, mm -hmm. the community they mm -hmm. live in. Mm -hmm. The community has issues. Mm -hmm. And even though the students are in school during the day mm -hmm. from 9 to 3.30, mm -hmm. they still have a life post yes, that. Yes. And the community is what holds them together. Now just, just to he get is a first principal who understands that. Okay, just to get this straight, this is the Jane and Finch Corridor community. Jane and Finch. And it's, for those who don't know, it's predominantly black, black it's, community. Actually it's diverse. It's, it's diverse. predominantly black, but it has, um, it's, it's a diverse community. Okay. We have 120 different nationalities okay. there. Okay, all right, very good. So it's a diverse community. It's a very diverse. It's all one right. of the diverse, diverse communities in Toronto. And this 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 uh, Patrick, Patrick, Knight. Patrick Knight, he's connected with the community. He is in a connected special way. with the community. He understood no, the key thing is that he understands the community. Right. He understands the students right. and understands their needs. Yes. How long has he been at that school? He's well, listen, he's been there, he was there as a student, mm -hmm. he was there. Really? He, <laughs> he's he, like he has a history with wow. Westview. Okay. And right now as the principal, mm -hmm. he really, he really loves the students. Mm -hmm. has a passion mm -hmm. for seeing them exceed, mm -hmm. excel. Mm -hmm. And so he has started a, a, his vision, let me give you his okay. vision. His what? vision is Westview Centennial mm -hmm. Secondary School, where truth, justice, and love prevail mm -hmm. above all else. Wow. Now when a principal comes to our school and gets that vision, mm -hmm. and never mind getting the vision, but gets the students mm -hmm. and teachers and community to, to join see, with him in that vision, that vision, like we're, we're moving places. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you're saying he's, he's done great work in the years. He has time done he's been a there. phenomenal job. I mean, beyond, like you can't, just cannot imagine that he has done this. Mm -hmm. Like he sent an email to me mm -hmm. and to the trustee of the community. Mm -hmm. I just want to give you a little excerpt okay. from that. Mm -hmm. And he says, um, Hello, Trustee Payne and Reverend Star. I hope all is well with both of you. This was on February 13th. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to bother you both, but I wanted to share this good news with both of you. Mm -hmm. This year, Westview has 219 diploma candidates. Mm -hmm. This is 218 students with over 25 credits and currently in grade 12. 
Of this number of 218, we have 119 students apply to university and 75 apply to college. Wow. And this is historic. Yes. I mean, I've been in this, this is my 37th year, 37th year in, West, in the community. Mm -hmm. And this has never happened. This, this is, this is, this is beyond amazing. So he motivates the children. He motivates. He gets them to perform. Yep. And give him results. Yep. So what is the problem? The problem is, the problem that we have now yeah. is that we just learned this past weekend mm -hmm. that he has been removed from Westview. Oh. And the community mm -hmm. is in an uproar. Okay. The students are beside themselves. Okay. And we just, we just want to know what is wrong, mm -hmm. why if a, if, a, if a principal is producing, mm -hmm. and this is just a surface stuff that I've just given you, mm -hmm. if he is producing that well, why would TDSB or whatever it is mm -hmm. remove him from mm -hmm. there? And so they gave you no, know, they gave us, they gave the community no answers. Well, we had a delegation. I found out about this on Sunday night, mm -hmm. and people called me up and said, Reverend Sky, you've got to come. This is happening, and I'm saying, but this is impossible. I said, this can't be. Well, how how could this be happening? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm saying, what's the reason? Mm -hmm. Well, why are they moving him? Like nobody seems to know. Mm -hmm. The trustee doesn't seem to know. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, and I'm saying to her, listen, you're the trustee. Yes. You're in charge of all of that stuff. You're in charge of who gets hired, mm -hmm. who gets fired, who gets moved, who gets yeah. transferred. Yeah. How is it that you don't know? Yeah. Okay, so if you don't know, mm -hmm. we need to go to somebody who does know. Right. So we got a delegation together, maybe 20, 25 people, including students, right. teachers, hall monitors. Mm -hmm. Like we went over there, we went to see Dr. Spence. Okay. Because I figured, hey, he's at the top of the chain. Right. We need to go somewhere. So we went over there. Mm -hmm. He was surprised. Mm -hmm. Because he's not like we we want answers, yeah. especially since school is reopening in a week. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Spence said it. it's confidential, mm -hmm. it is sensitive, mm -hmm. and um, you know he's thinking about the students, and he will take what we have to say. But everybody had something to say. Mm -hmm. How good? I mean, all the talk about how good Mr. Knight was, mm -hmm. how he cares about the students, mm -hmm. how even there was a teacher there who. Um, who does special ed with, with students who are disabled. Mm -hmm. And she says, in all her years there, this is the first principal who comes down to where the students are and stays in the room, mm -hmm. talks to them, mm -hmm. relates to them. She mm -hmm. says, this has never happened at first week. Like, I mean, people so are you got testing no, to So them. you got no we actually got, answer? We got no answer. From Dr. Spence? Just that they have to have a meeting, a decision has to be made. He says the decision was not made yet. Yeah. Decision had to be made. He's going to take what we're saying into the situation. So, um, Carmel Henry, you you know you you are you are chair of what is, what what is, what's your title? Parent council. Your parent council. Yes. She's a chair of the parent council. Chair of the, council. Chair, of, uh, chair of the parent council. So you know the, the principal. Yes, I do. So tell us your experience with this principal because this Patrick Knight, the principal Patrick Knight, yeah. he sounds like he was born in the community. He's worked he's worked with the community and he became principal in the community. So now, of course, the parents want to know, why is this good thing been taken away? I don't so, think he was, a, just a correction, I don't think he was born in the community, though. Oh, no, you so saw he was, he, 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 he was in the community? Yeah, he's been in the community. Okay, all right, so he's familiar with the community since he was a youth. Okay, so tell us your experience with this principal. Okay, well, my experience is that um, this is a principal who is always looking out for the students. Um, he provides transparency. Parents can come in to the school, mm -hmm. walk around, see what's happening, be involved, because he's always at us to, you know, come on in, see what it is we're doing, you know? So he's just like, this is a happy family. I mean, you come into this school, you see a principal walking around. It's hard to find him in his office because he's walking the corridors, he's paying attention you know, to talking his to his students. Mm -hmm. How are you today? Why are you out here? Mm -hmm. Do you have a class? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and children warms up to him because of this, because here is a, not just a teacher, but a principal who is interested in us, Yes, you know, yes. and so it turns them around in a positive way, mm -hmm. you know. And we see and that in their results. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, mm -hmm. you know, so this, this is a man who is not just there because you know, he was placed there. He wants to be there. He wants to be you there. know, he wants these children to have a life outside when they get out. That you know, yes, I can move higher. I can succeed. You know, they can. Which, yes. which is what we want for That's our children. What we want for our children. Everybody wants that you for know? their children. So now our parents are distraught. I mean, this sudden removal. You know, it's really hitting them. You know, the children. You know, they don't know what to do. I mean, they can't picture going to school come Tuesday morning without Mr. Knight. So you know? are, are the parents feeling a level of disrespect 
by not being it's that by not having this explanation as to why this good thing has been taken away? No. The ones that I've spoken to, yes. Yes. Because I mean, this is the final week to school and yes. the parents are busy shopping or whatever. Like an assault. This yes. bam. Yes, yes. You know, won't be a Mr. Knight. Yes. You know, so it's it's, it's really taking a toll on them. You know, because everybody's asking why, why we we just still don't have an answer. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's really a it's an emotional thing for the, for the community. Right. And of course, Jane and Finch. We hear that we hear about Jane and Finch all all the time on the news. I know there's positive things happening there because I've heard of positive things happening there. We hear about the negative stuff on the news, but that's right. that's beside the point. Now, you know, if something is happening there that is really helping the community, it should really be nurtured and continued, and not just not just taken away. Not just taken away. We just want to have this issue resolved by reinstating him mm -hmm. because, I mean, where do we go from here without a caring That's principal? my next question. You know? Where do you go from here? Do you go back to Dr. Spence? Do you get more people involved? Do you, I mean, you're here to get the word out mm -hmm. and to give a side of this issue that probably does not get much airing because it's really easy for Dr. Spence to say, this is sensitive this is personal, you can't deal with it, but he's not looking at the effect of this, because this, if this is, you know, taking a toll on the, on the community and the children, then that has to be dealt with too, also at the same time. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So do you go back, are you, are you, is, are, is there a plan for another meeting coming up? Is there, is, I mean, I know school starts on Tuesday and parents have to get the kids in school. So what is, what is, what is, what do you, what do you envision is the next step to take this? Because really, there's got to be a continual, push to this, just to get some answers? Well, we'll just continue pushing to mm -hmm. see if we can get parents to mm -hmm. sign petitions and move forward to have it taken to the director to let them see that, hey, this community needs this principal because, I mean, this principal has done a lot for these students. It has really transformed their lives yeah. positively, yeah. you know, because I mean, without this, yeah. what are they going to do? You mm -hmm. suspend a child, what is he going home to do? Yeah. This child is going to be on the street. Yeah. You know, and as we say in the Caribbean, the devil find work for high lives. Of course. You know? Of course. So, I mean, him being removed yeah. is just putting back our kids out there. So, so, there was part of that, though, mm -hmm. um, tagging on to what um, mm -hmm. what um, Ms. Henry just said, mm -hmm. is that the leadership, what, one of the things that Mr. Knight provided mm -hmm. was superb leadership. Mm -hmm. like, People follow from what's at the top. It, it comes down to chain command, right? right? So he has provided this level of leadership mm -hmm. that the ch that the kids look up to, mm -hmm. students look up to. People who are there right now, ex principals, <clears throat> people who have been retired and brought in, vice principals. So there's no stable, consistent leadership there in place right now. Here are the students who have gotten used to a status quo. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes things happen with students. Mm -hmm. This is what enhances their productivity. Mm -hmm. This is what makes them learn. This is what makes them aspire to something mm -hmm. above where they are. Mm -hmm. And he gave them that. Mm -hmm. Dr. Spence's vision yeah. for TDSB is yeah. the vision of hope. Yes. This is his highlight. Yeah. Mr. Knight yeah. is the vision of hope for the students at West Point. Right. And they have just totally eroded that in front of them. Now, does that happen often, or is it my imagination? That every time there's something good that's happening in the black community, something happens. Yep. Like, you know, for instance, that, that, that barbecue we were having, they were having, people yep. were having fun on the street, you know, people were out getting together, and all of a sudden, gunshots. And it ruins a bad thing, a good thing, right? right. And here we are, the kids are excelling, the school is, you know, putting together, and then the teacher, the principal is taken away. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? This, do you feel some kind of, you know, forces against you? What I'm, what I'm hearing in my head, what mm. comes to my mind is, you know, Michael Jackson has the song, all I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Aye. This is what, this is the first thing that came They don't really mind. care about us. It's because true. Because you telling me that you can look at the stats, mm -hmm. and they're aware of all the stats. Yes. And everybody's saying he has done a phenomenal mm -hmm. job. You know, mm -hmm. he just actually won. Yeah the Excellence, TDSB Excellence Award. Yeah. The very first principal to yeah. receive that in all of the years TDSB is there. Mm -hmm. No other principal has ever gotten this. First principal, See, first principal, principal nominated. Nominated. Wow. nominated and get it. No, Nobody. actually, there are other principals who have been nominated. Mm -hmm. The thing that really got him there was that he went beyond yeah. the criteria yeah. that a principal should follow. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, 
I love that 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 song you said. They don't they don't really care about us. Man. I love that. But you know, I can I think it goes further than that because it's not even not about caring. It's about deliberately sabotaging. Yep. It's I'll about deliberately that. stopping you. It's about deliberately yep. putting obstacles and spokes yep. in your way, and so Real that class. you trip over yourself and you can't get nothing done. Yep. It's that it's that sinister in yep. my mind because if if they notice that they see the result and yet they deliberately take this kind of action without explaining to the community with that lack of respect, yep. then it must be something more sinister. True. So we got to say like, hey, 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 what's up here? Yep. You know, our kids need a break too. And you know, we can't just vanish from the face of the earth, so we have to learn how to survive here. Jealousy. Je well, there you go. Is it is it jealousy? My, my, my guest Jimmy just, just put his uh, two cents in there, and I think it's important to say. Jealousy, what's that about? Okay, you can't well, be jealous. What's yeah, that about? There are some things. I do know that there have been some complaints. Mm -hmm. I can say it's an investigation that's going on. Okay. I can't really go into all of the details. Mm -hmm. I don't know all of the details. Yeah. What I do know, is that when Mr. Knight started, there uh, there was one teacher who complained that she feels that he's racist, and she fe she feels that um, he talks down to women, and my name is even included in that. Whoa. Now, if you listen to me, I'm somebody who, if you're going to disrespect me, buddy, I'm in your face. Right. Okay, like, hey, nobody disrespects mm -hmm. me. I show you respect, and I expect the respect right. from you. And this has never happened. Mm -hmm. So all of that stuff has happened. This has been going on from the, the onset. Mm -hmm. And he has done all of this phenomenal job mm -hmm. with opposition, mm -hmm. obstacles, mm -hmm. stress, mm -hmm. and yet he has done this. Mm -hmm. And he has been left there mm -hmm. while all of these complaints were going on. Mm -hmm. What I'm hearing mm -hmm. from the superintendent is that everything was cleared up although he didn't get anything written. Mm -hmm. And then this. Wow. So, so like this was this was like something happened and it bubbled in, bubbled and yep. bubbled, yep. and toiled and toiled and toiled yep. <laughs> until now we have this this terrible deed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So as I said, sinister, <laughs> but you know, so there there has been complaint, like there was there has there was a complaint, and you think it's about what? discrimination, about being a racist? That was that was so. Wait a minute, complaint. is it, is this a, is about the way he talks to women? So okay, so he, he doesn't. He, Okay, so this I have to get back to this racist complaint thing. I know you don't want to get into details, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if there's a race issue, well, there, does, all the details. does that mean that, that it's a it's another black person or another black person or complain that he's racist towards them? <laughs> and that he <laughs> and, and, that that he, and, that he, and that he treats women. Yeah. So she's black and, and she's a woman. Yeah, and that he treats women in a way that is disrespectful. Wow. Like, including me. My name was mentioned. Yeah. See, now does this bring back feelings of poor Mike Tyson where, you know, yeah. he was strangled by his own woman, <laughs> you know. So, okay, so then here we have another problem. Uh -huh. The problem is that not only is the man, as we say, that the system is against us, but then we have our own yeah. taking us down. Yeah. yeah. What's that about? You know, I, I think I think we mm -hmm. as as our own people, mm -hmm. we need to look at somebody who's making a difference mm -hmm. and stand alongside and support that person. Mm -hmm. And I think we don't know how to do that well. Mm -hmm. Well, Bob we did sing. Well, how long how, how long shall we stand aside and watch and kill our brother? Yeah, Something yeah. like that. You know, we, we do have a history. We do of, of standing it's aside and watching. Yeah, and yeah. those who are not helping and to take them down. It's you very know? sad too. Mm -hmm. It's very sad. It doesn't. It doesn't speak well for us. Yeah. It yeah. really puts us in a very yeah. negative. Well, it's certainly it's certainly yeah. putting a lot of pressure on the community because you know the black community has a lot of things that they must overcome, mm -hmm. and you know I mean real things like poverty. You know, like you know um, anxiety separation because we've been all separated from ourselves and each other for so long. So we're suffering from uh, separation anxiety. And then we have this financial issue that most of us are poor, getting poorer, right? So then, you know, with that, with those big issues before us, then we have this inward, inner, you know, inability to understand each other and to help each other. Mm -hmm. And to support, never and mind to support. To support each other, mm -hmm. especially when we're doing positive things. Wow. This is a, this is a positive thing yeah. for our youth. Yeah. This is a positive thing for the community. Yeah. This is a positive thing for us in general. 
Well, you know what? Um, with this discussion, I think it's time that we get some music. I really do. Jimmy, you ready for us? Because we, we, need, we need to hear something that will uplift this moment. And when, when Jimmy's done with us, we'll come back and discuss more about what we need to do as a race of people. But I really think at this time, we need some music. So here comes Reggae Happy. And uh, this is Jimmy Reed. And I'm so thankful he's here this morning to give us something. And this is called Open the Door. The door needs to be open. Open the door. Really, Jimmy, Jimmy Reed. <laughs> Tando. The Tando, I mean, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. 
you know, which, you know, I don't really want to, I don't know the details. You know, details, so we can't go into that, but this is happening. You know, I've been wondering what is happening, you know, it's the, you just said, um, there's some uh, issue there that, you know, you know, they are investigating mm -hmm. and so on, you know, mm -hmm. so I don't know what's the problem. Yeah. Today, but whatever that it's um, black and black. Yeah, black and black. Disturbing. <coughs> disturbing, yeah. 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 Well, you know, you know what? I guess we get, we're gonna have to wait and see. And yeah. Maybe what's happening? You know? I don't know. I, I, you know, a few shows ago, I said to um, my sisters out there, I said, why don't you ever have a smile for me? Like, you know, really. I walk. Yeah. Up, I mean, I take the bus. I'm in. I'm in public transportation, and I really try to smile at my sisters when I see them because I feel that way that we should get. To, and I tell you, the, the the many of you that walk by me and look at me as if I'm a strange being. Mm -hmm. It's, that's disturbing too, you know, and to hear that this sister and, yeah. you know, gets herself in the position where she has to come and take so down well. the principal. Yeah. You know, I say, sister, you got to search your heart. You got to open the door. To search your heart. heart. Of course. You know, mm -hmm. and all of you sisters out there who have, you know, have this, this, this crud of hatred and, and, and vengeance that I, that I feel sometimes mm -hmm. against yourself, against each other, against, you know, you gotta change that, and it's up to you. You're the only person that can change that, mm -hmm. because we can only see your action and say, "Well, this one heart isn't good." Mm -hmm. But you're the one that knows what what is going on, and you have to change that because mm -hmm. we need every one of you. This race needs every one of you. We have to start coming together. We don't have a lot of time, people. Yeah. So okay. this is so you know this principle now. How old is this man? Do you know? Give me some personal details about him. I mean, how old is he? Is he married? I mean, just give me he's something. A, he's a family man. Mm -hmm. He is in his uh, mid forties. Mm -hmm. He is very pleasant. So he's a young he is, man, mid forties. He is humble. He uh, and he, he has is, children. He has. He has a young. Yeah, he has children. Mm -hmm. His youngest right now, I think, is close to two, or maybe a little over two. So he's a family so man. He's a family man, and he treats like the the best part of this mm -hmm. is the way he treats the students. Yes. Like I mean, they feel. Mm -hmm. They feel like. Let me, let me read you this. Okay. A survey was done mm -hmm. by somebody who came to the school. He looks at the root causes of whatever issues we have, mm -hmm. whatever the students have, and try to find ways mm -hmm. to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So this is something that was done by an independent um, um, person who came in to just do a needs assessment. Mm -hmm. And this is for his form, listen, he's formed 14, mm -hmm. in the time he's there, he's formed 14, mm -hmm. 14 different programs mm -hmm. to address student needs, right? right? Mm -hmm. So he invited this person to come to uh, look at one of the programs that he mm -hmm. has there that's called Sisters Unlimited. Mm -hmm. Yes, he has a Brothers Unlimited and a Sisters Unlimited. Okay. And this independent uh, person mm -hmm. did a survey, worked with the students, for a couple weeks, mm -hmm. for a few sessions. Mm -hmm. And here is what one of the reports that she says. Mm -hmm. Alarmingly, the principal, Mr. Patrick Knight, was identified by at least 75% of the students as the most important person in their lives. Wow. Specifically with regards to being the most caring, kind, respectful, and authentic role model in their lives at this moment in time. Wow. The undersigned found this to be an extremely shocking as it was not a part of the assessment questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Suggestibility did not factor in as students themselves brought this topic into the discussion following the completion of the assessment questionnaire. Mm -hmm. The principal, Mr. Knight, seemed to have more influence on not only what is happening in their lives currently, mm -hmm. but as well future success. Wow. And these are girls. Mm -hmm. So when you hear a young woman saying mm -hmm. that this person is the most important mm -hmm. role model in my life, people have to stop and pay attention to that. And yet the charges seem to be, we think, mm -hmm. is that he doesn't okay. treat women with respect. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So there's so it's still your own as to what it, it really yeah. is, who he is. Absolutely. Most of these ladies are, you know, um, uh, uh, backing him up. Backing him up. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. it's what, it's what yeah. the proof it's is. Yeah. It's, it's the proof. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. So. So, ladies, um, so the whole lot of inconsistency. Inconsistency, everywhere. yes, everywhere. If people out there want to help this cause and get involved with, you know, and bring light and exposure to this problem, mm -hmm. and maybe even, you know, giving give some some weight to it, mm -hmm. where do they go? What do they do? Who do they talk to? Okay, first person is a trustee, trustee of the community, is trustee Payne. Trustee, trustee Payne. Stephanie Payne. Stephanie Payne. They okay, can, they can flood. Um, TDSB with emails, with questions. With so calls, call, call, call Stephanie Payne. Call Stephanie Payne. Call, call for uh, um, 
I'm Dr. Email Thomas. her, call her Email, office, do whatever. Talk to her, show yeah. her that we're out there. Yeah. yeah. Parent, okay. Parents need to get involved. Mm -hmm. Parents, I think parents miss the, the important fact that they've got a voice. Yes. And they've got a level of power. Yes. Because but that is one of the things you know, that uh, uh, most uh, Don't you know, you parents uh, and yeah. it's so neglect from yeah. these days, like uh, especially black parents. Yeah. They, they, they need, need to get involved. They need like to get involved. They need to, involved. to be involved in their school. Yeah. They need to be involved in the parent council. I used to be a chair of the parent council before as well. Like they, and it's like sometimes it's very difficult to get our own mm -hmm. people to come out. Right. Now, Carmel, yeah. talk yeah. us about that. How difficult is it for you to get the ladies yeah. to come out to the meeting? No. You're the chair now. You're, this is your this is your life. This is what you do. So give us an idea how how difficult it is to get these ladies to come and and when they come out. What are they willing to do and not do? So give me, give me some ideas. Well, <laughs> I, well, I haven't had the privilege of having them come out in full force because so we need learning from past yes, yes. that they, it takes something to happen okay. to get them out. Okay. But I haven't had anything happening recently for them to come out. Right. So it has been a uphill struggle to get them out. Yeah. You know, you keep functions, they don't show up. Yeah. Nothing at all you do. Yeah. How do, you, how do you get the word out to them? I mean, besides, I mean, besides the school, through the school, you get the word out through, through the school. Yes. How do you get the word out to them? Through their, through their, their kids, through a flyer, through phone calls. We, what do you do? Okay, we send a message out through the kids, mm -hmm. and the school even have messages that go out to their home phones and everything. Right. right. So we call them like a week before. Yeah. We remind them the following yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Still what I think is, smaller, what I think yeah. I think though, you know, you know, especially a uh, parent, mm. is that a uh, single parent. Yes. Some of these ladies um, are mostly black. Black women. <laughs> There's yeah. black women are single parent. Yearning for husbands. Yeah, that's and, true. And um, she might be doing two jobs, uh -huh. so yeah. on and so forth, and yeah. um, they can't, they, you know. I think that's some of the problem. Which yeah, well, that, be. Uh, that is a problem, yes. Mm -hmm. It's an issue that yeah. our community faces. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you need to understand as a parent, Definitely. listen, that's what I if something is or be. someone is going to be interacting with my kid mm -hmm. or functioning with my kid, I, I want to know about it. Mm -hmm. I go to the school and I say, when my son went over there, I went over there and I said, my name is Reverend Sky Star. Yes. My son is coming here. Whatever it is yeah. that concerns him, I want to know about it. Yeah. I say if he's doing this and that, you want to call you, call me, I'm the, and I'm showing up. Definitely. Okay, so that leads us to another yeah. another yeah. argument. Then, so there's a there's a, a deficit yeah. in the caring factor in black women. Yeah. Are we gonna are we gonna say that that way? Is there a caring factor in a deficit, a caring deficit in, in black women that we well, have to discuss just, here? It's not just black women. I think in our community in general. Yeah. So, okay, so as as black men too? Black, listen man, black men as well as <laughs> black women. Of course. Women. It's, black across, men. it's across the board. Yeah. And, and we, so black and people. And we really want to encourage them okay. and let them know, yeah. one, yeah. your voice is important. Yeah. Your children are important. But you, you, you have need to be But you have to care first, that. it sounds to me like. You yeah. have to care first. Okay, it's not so hard. I don't know, you know, we, I don't know what happened to us really. You know, yeah. because, uh, you know, once I used to be driving on like highway coaches, mm. you know, and, you know, and when you have like demonstration all over, you know, we used to take people to Ottawa. I see all the Indians. Yeah. I see all the Chinese. Yeah, uh, everybody's in yeah. Ottawa. You know. The other day they had, we were driving the other day, they had uh, something about the gay the gay thing that they they um gay parade? They, they, no. Mm -hmm. They they did they, you know, some people were protesting against okay, okay. The, the parliament, they didn't want them to pass it out. Right, right. right. Quite illegal. Right, yeah. And there was we are the first people that against it. You know, but we are the last to do anything. Do anything. When yeah. I when I pick up all these Indians down down on Mississauga, mm -hmm. we have nine buses of them mm -hmm. going to Ottawa to protest, mm -hmm. you know, protest against it, mm -hmm. you know. And the only black people that was there is us, the drivers. <laughs> it was a in Somal Park. So there's a lethargy and there's there. a and there's a, a, a no, no interest, interest, no yes. caring. Interest. So okay, <laughs> so now we've identified some problems that we have. How do we expect for others to put? Interest in us yeah. when we're not putting interest in interest ourselves. ourselves. Like we need to, we, we need to it's like, for us. It it's like we just make noise. Yeah, I think yeah. it, it has to start in the home yeah. because socialize, socialization Definitely. starts at home. Yeah. 
we we need to understand that we have to be caring yeah. and i'm not saying that we don't care yeah. i'm sure par listen every mother loves that i i i believe well, i don't know that about that i mean somebody can do something that's you want that's true or not. but listen so i can't I'm, say that man i believe that god has made us as relational caring beings yes, yes. and we have the love yes it's us you choose it's, not it's to us to demonstrate yeah. the love yeah. and show it yeah. and it starts at home you yeah. need to start at home Definitely. and if that isn't at home the child goes out there to find it somewhere yeah. else now, and if you nurture that at home, mm -hmm. they are going to be attracted to the person who knows. What do you think the kids are attracted to Mr. Knight? Yeah. Attracted in the sense of right. he's got, yeah. he's got that Someone person that that He has it. You know what this girl said, what they said here? The caring, mm -hmm. what did they list? Mm -hmm. They listed caring, kind, respectful, mm -hmm. and authentic. All the things so that the father tell should be. Right. But he's not there. Right. And uh, they can tell when see, that that's another that. issure. Yeah. Family structure, you need yeah, that, that in, yeah. in a black family. Yeah. Yeah. Because a girl needs a father. Yeah. Being yeah. a girl myself. Yes. A girl needs a father. And I and I can speak to that because you know, I didn't see a father in my in my existence till I was twelve years old. My mother married a very good man who mm -hmm. took the role of a father yeah. and, 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 and gave me a, a good stepfather Definitely. to grow up with. Mm -hmm. And you know, fortunately for me I went on to have another stepfather who was a loving stepfather. Mm -hmm. So I had a good experience with other men who jumped in and played the role. Yeah. But really, for the first 12 years of my life, I was looking for a father. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of us are, st are looking for fathers. So that, that goes out to the, the men also that when you plant a seed here, yeah. you've got to watch it grow. I don't know, you know, because um, back home in the, in, the, in the Caribbean, I was saying this, you know, I, you know, people in South, you know, men just having children and move on and move on. It's yeah. like the norm, you know. Yeah. You, you know, we, we should learn to stop that. To stop that. Thing. You got you know, to take a woman and be yeah, serious. Right. Raise your family. Like so that. then yeah. the, 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 the kid become, you know. Oh, yeah. So we can, we can adapt ourselves yeah. to being a family. Yeah. But then again, we must understand also, and this is why history is so important, because we must understand that is a legacy from 400 years of slavery. Mm -hmm. Because if, you know, if four hundred years sure. and you and you haven't been able to, you, you couldn't you couldn't call this man your own because you weren't even you could belong you didn't belong to yourself. Definitely. You belonged to somebody else. So you couldn't call anybody your own. Mm -hmm. And then we have this this legacy that we've never addressed. And then we have this period where people think that don't talk about it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Abolish it. Sweep it under the rug. And so we all suffer from this legacy mm -hmm. of separation anxiety. Definitely. Okay. And well, then listen. poverty add to that. But we have listen. Mm -hmm. In spite of all of that right. stuff, mm -hmm. I grew up with her, my father wasn't there. Right. But I, within me, I wanted better for my children. Right. If I ever have any children. Mm -hmm. And I think it's within each of us, us, everybody, yeah. to desire it's something yeah. that you don't have or that you didn't have. Yeah. So yeah. I wanted, I, yeah. yeah. We, we've gone to that. We, and Bob said, we need to get rid of this mental slavery yeah. thing. Yeah. We need to get past it's that. Okay. And we need to move yeah. ahead. Yeah. You, understanding. We, we gotta get See, there. You go. We yeah, have got to get woman. past that. Well, you know, I understand. I understand you, Doctor Sky and Reverend Sky. Mm -hmm. And it's and the doctor's coming. Yeah, it's very good. I don't feel anything she's using there. That's why I said it. But anyways, I you know, understand what you're saying. But you know what? The problem is, a lot of us don't have the strength that right. you have. So we have to have outside help that to get right. that strength. And we don't have the outside help because as, 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 uh, as Michael sings, you say, they don't care about us. Okay, but so, listen, yeah. we have, you see, I, I, I struggle with this and okay. I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've got some issues. Mm -hmm. Everybody else has issues too. Yes. We're not the only nation people. True, true. Ours is, ours is just worse than everybody else. Okay. Go ahead. But listen here. Mm -hmm. Some real positive things have happened Absolutely. for us. Absolutely. We have a president. Yes. We have a president in position. Yes. Before you can tell your Ooh, people. they say so many nasty things about us. Whatever. Whatever. They respect them in ways that are okay. in I know, I know. But I know. in spite of that, we have aspired. Yes. Okay? Yes. We want our children to look there, yes. look at that. Yes. This has happened. Definitely. You can do it too. Yes. Before we could say to the child, you can be anything you want. Mm. And there was that little limitation. Yeah. No, there is literally no limitation. That's right. We can go anywhere we That's want right. to go. So now we, we have to know. Parents, now we have to know. We need to be extending yes. that out there. And we need to get past yes. this has happened to us as a man. Listen, man, we need to get past that. But you know, remember, Bob also sings. Yeah. No chain on my feet, but I'm not free. free to you the see, mind. so you got to put it all together. 
no chains on my feet, but I'm not free. Mental. Because, no, I think our, our main problem is money. Mm -hmm. Our main problem is financial. I, 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 I totally, because, totally agree with you. Absolutely. Our main problem is financial. It's money. It takes money to send a kid to school. Yeah. Okay. It takes money to buy a book. Mm -hmm. Because I've, you know, I've written a book, and I see people, you know, try to buy the book, and it's really hard for them. So it, it takes money to buy a book. It takes money to eat. It takes money. So it's the money. We're in poverty, and I, we have to learn how to I pool think that's our resources. Come down to you know, money, money. It is. It's really. It is. Money. I mean, it, it is. That's what. That's what. That, that's a weapon that's used against us. Yeah, and we have to get past that because if we pool our resources, then it becomes bigger than any one of us. Yeah. And that's where we have to go. We have to pool the resources. So you can't hold back the little twenty dollars for a sister's book. You have to see that that twenty dollars can go far. You and, see, and, by and, doing and more. And learn and learn to, especially um, with within our business. Yes. Learn to, to shop work, at each other's shop store. With, with each Bring other's the money store. to your brother because Definitely. he will use that money to widen the check, community. If you check it, you make a paycheck today mm -hmm. and and check out. How much if that paycheck go to a brother or sister mm -hmm. business? Mm -hmm. Most of it go to somebody else. Of course. But then we also need we and also we need to, to but we also need to remember that there are social services that are available. Social not services are there as a, as a safety net. That, mm -hmm. You don't want to depend on that. I'm not saying depend on it. Mm -hmm. But in the in the meantime, mm -hmm. there are there are places that you can go to get support mm -hmm. yeah. while you get yourself together and figure out where you're going. We have to have a vision, and that's good for the people who need that. that. But I'm talking about those people who really have the resources, right. sis, but yet they're holding on to this some kind of trophy, right. not to be shared. <laughs> okay. And those people who have the education mm -hmm. who refuses Definitely. to share it with their brothers and, and sisters. And, and talk about the the you know uh, some of our people. When they find themselves in certain positions. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Wanna see wanna see you when you're talking. And yeah. some, okay, I'm yeah. sorry. When you find them in a certain position, they, they want to live in this neighborhood with black people. Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't want to live um <laughs> Is there a black neighborhood? Yeah. Is it, is it black yeah. Like that. Is it that? Look here, I've been there since 1971. I don't know what the black neighborhood. I'm talking about black people. I heard it uh, last week. Uh, I don't want to go to Brampton. Too much black people up there and this. Oh, they don't want black to live among them, each other. Said, yeah. you know, so then they, they get that race, that race prejudice together. goes on there. These are some of the things that some people yeah. do. Yeah. You know. Well, we yeah, have trouble. Yeah. Yeah. We have trouble. Yeah, we and and the biggest trouble is us. All right, you know what? Do have some issues. We have a lot of issues, and we're gonna yeah. we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna try and tackle some of them while while we do this. But right now, we need another song because I tell you, you gotta uplift this moment. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this one, uh, African beauty. African beauty. Here again to give us a song, uh, Jimmy Reed, African beauty. <laughs>
my African beauty. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, my African beauty. That's the part. I love you. I love you. this man. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thanks, my dear. Oh, lovely songs, lovely lyrics, like music, touching oh, yeah. your heart, African beauty. Yeah. Ah, see, this is this is really a song for the black woman. Black woman. Really, she really needs to start yeah. harnessing and start, yeah. you know, controlling her own beauty, yeah. and that goes from the inside out. I you know, know, this is song this is dedicated to black women in Black telling woman, you. because black right now this, this video is on location in Jamaica and the, um, the video chart. Mm -hmm. It started uh, about five weeks ago. Wow. You know, so it's doing really yeah, well in Jamaica. And it's, in chart. it's moving up. I think moving it's up the chart. But it started it started at twenty three. Yes. And uh, a couple weeks ago it was a uh, I think it was a uh, 17 hours. So wow. Serious. So it's coming up. Well, I'm telling you, after today, it's going to go, it's going to rise. <laughs> it's going to rise. Just like Jamaica is rising. <clears throat> okay. You know, because really, and, and another thing I think that is one of our major problems is that we don't belong. We don't belong. I mean, I love Jamaica. It's my home. Definitely. I was born there. But I love Africa more. It, you know. I love Africa more. And I don't even know her. I've never, I've never been there. See, never been there. there. Like, you know, and yet I that. yearn for her. You know, I yearn I, to be there. But I know this is not the right time for me. I just spoke to my publicist and um, we're there we we're, 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 um, now I'm trying to get an African tour. African, African tour. tour. We need to we need yeah. you know go ahead. Yeah, a European tour coming mm -hmm. up and you know mm -hmm. so on and so forth. I have to go to motherland first. Yes. You know, man? Yes. I have to go to motherland. We gotta first. Be, see. We gotta start loving her back because yeah. she's been left alone for a long time. Yes. And you know all this <clears throat> bereavement that we've been we, we've been Definitely. experiencing, Definitely. it's also taking a toll on the nation. Mm -hmm. You see, because she, she we're pulled from her, she's pulled from us, mm -hmm. and so we're not there for each other, Definitely. and we need each other. Yeah. That's another question. thing that's wrong with black people. Oh no. Yes. It's yeah. time we start embracing her. Yeah. Embracing her. Yeah. Mm. Well, Af you see, the thing about physicalness, we, we have a spiritual problem. We, we know that. And we also have a monetary problem. Definitely. We also have a physical problem. We have a ge geographical problem. Okay. We have all we that. We have all the problems, you know. <laughs> you know, that's why I was saying that's earlier right. on, when, when there, <clears throat> when it's going to end. It's when, when it's, it's going to end, when we put an end to it. It's going to take a while. Yeah. Because if we get one uh, one part of the, the problem solved, mm. there's so many others. Yeah. I think I yeah. think it's all in. I, I think it's a mental thing. Really? I, I, I do. Only. Well, that's well, part well, of it. It's I a major. To. Listen, it's a major part of it. If mm -hmm. I have a level of positivity, mm -hmm. and I feel and believe mm -hmm. within myself that I can accomplish something. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm here this morning. Why am I here? I don't know you, it's the first time I'm meeting you, right. okay? Mm -hmm. I'm out there and I'm saying, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. This man stands for justice, mm -hmm. truth, mm -hmm. and love. Mm -hmm. Justice has to happen here somehow. Mm -hmm. Somebody calls me and says, Reverend Sky, would you like to be on the show to talk about... I'm th hey, of course. Metal. Yes. Okay, I think that when we get our, our yes. mindset into really changing things, mm -hmm. being positive, walking towards it, it happens. And but you know, we're and I'm not positive saying, people. And I am not saying... We, we're very positive people, yeah. saying we're very positive that what is yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. Come on. I, I can say I'm positive. Mm -hmm. I remember when... Um, I can say that, but unless I'm doing something to show that this is something... Where is it? Yeah, I hear you. We have to move on it. Yeah. We have to act it. And we, have to, we have to extend it out there. Yes. Okay, if I'm positive and I come here, you might be feeling down. Mm -hmm. But if I'm positive and keep it upbeat and stuff, by the end of the day, trust me, girl, you're going to feel a little differently. Yeah. Okay. That's right. what I'm saying. I remember when... Um, what most of us here uh, must uh, know about Dudley Laws. Oh yeah, I know yeah. Dudley Laws very well. Yeah. I mean, I remember when he started. Um, you know, so many of us mm. were downing Dudley. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, just So he didn't happened. get any support. Are you he saying? Didn't get any support? That? That, you know, Dudley Laws. Dudley Laws. Don't know him. He, he passed away. You don't know Dudley Laws? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't. Oh, <laughs> he didn't get the support that he needed. He you know, when we were marching yeah. and thing, you know. Yeah. He was a dumb man. 
from a woman. People say, why? Why is this? But then we must. And they don't know nothing. Well, you see, that's what I'm saying. Remember, they crucified Christ. Yeah. yeah. They saw Mar they saw Marcus Garvey for rice. I mean, this is our history. Yeah. We tend to we tend to go on the people that comes to hell. Mm -hmm. So I understand positivity. Right. Works. That's what I was saying. Too. We've had a lot of positivity in our lives. We've had a lot of positive role models and examples. Yet here we are today. Okay, so not, it's, okay, it's, so hold on here. Just okay, let me make right. a distinction. I'm not okay. talking about the positivity that's around us. Yes. I think each person has to find that within themselves. Right. Absolutely. This is where I'm at. How do they find that? They, they have how do they find how it? How do they find it? We all have it. Okay. I do understand mm -hmm. and again I'm gonna understand I'm mm -hmm. gonna say, listen, there are issues, we have problems. Mm -hmm. But if I'm gonna sit mm -hmm. With my problem, this is a huge problem for me. Mm -hmm. This problem with Westview, yeah, that's a huge problem for me. Mm -hmm. And why? Mm -hmm. Because it's affecting the community. Mm -hmm. It's affecting youth. Mm -hmm. It's affecting their livelihood. It's affecting where they can be. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna sit back and say, okay, well, man, this is a problem, yeah. yeah. But if I'm not gonna get up and do something yeah. about it, like we have to act. Absolutely. So all positivity Action. can be mm -hmm. out there, yeah, and right. we can say this person has po positive. Yeah. Whatever you, know, you can you have, but you gotta about, move with it. Yeah. Okay. You remember I was talking about these people that don't talk at all, mm -hmm. you know, and um, yeah. they want to turn the black people here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's people like you now. Look at that. You're here, but how many of us is gonna? Yeah. Come on. See, you're one of the millions. I'm gonna say to you, and one of the millions. We need to be there. There are others. Really, there are others. I know. I know there are others. There are others. There are others. You know, but I do hope that there is enough, though, yes. to, 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 you know, to, to, to make, Listen, to make this, a difference. This is why I will go everywhere. Yeah. I will knock every door. Yeah. Definitely. I will talk to every person. Yeah. Because this has to end. Yeah. This injustice it has to end. end. And we have to be the people to do it. To do it. We have to not stop. Like, hey, you've yeah. got to persevere until somebody listens to you. Mm -hmm. not, not that we do that. So now, okay, one thing, one thing that uh, going back to school did, did for me was it, it defined a, a, a word that I probably heard many times, but I didn't really take stock. Mm -hmm. But going back to school really helped me define this word. It's called campaign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a campaign is a deliberate, planned, mm -hmm. and sustained mm -hmm. series of action that brings about a certain outcome okay. or result. Now, Marcus Garvey, in his writing, talks about campaign. Mm -hmm. He calls it a propaganda. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. So what has happened is there has been a campaign waged against us. black people. You think so? And so in order for us to stem the <laughs> tide of this campaign, we have to develop a counter campaign mm -hmm. of our own. Mm -hmm. And we have to develop it with um, deliberate, planned, and sustained action. Mm -hmm. Now, your idea that positivity is the key, mm -hmm. of course, in that campaign, it's got to be a positive campaign. But it also has to have the, the idea that which you, you're putting forth, which is action, yep. right? So, positive action. Yeah. So, we've got to develop a campaign of positive action. And we have to persevere with it. And so, we have to sustain so, it. Yep. So, oh, oh, we got. I want to suspend that, gentlemen. Um, Oh, who says the school board? Uh, well, the last meeting that we had, um, that he had, he has been on hold. But the school, but the school board has to do it. Yeah, they're the ones who have done it. The school board um, and, pending and, and whatever it the, is. The, 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 pending. The and the trustees. Including, but the trustee is is, is part of the uh, mm -hmm. part of the team. That's so, suspending. Well, the, it, the, the, the decision has to come from the TDS. So it's, it's the entire school board that has to have this decision. Yeah, because he's Include, the principal. Including the trustee. Yeah. He has to have a different and, 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 yeah. and the director. Yeah. That does make sense now. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I'm hoping uh, let's, also it, it, let's also remember that we don't have all the facts. All the facts. Yeah. All so right. this is why we, what we want is transparency. Mm -hmm. We want to know what is happening, yes. why it's happening. Mm -hmm. If you've got allegations against him, mm -hmm. have they been proven? And we want them aired out. We, yeah, we want them aired out. We also want to know, like, he has had no formal charges. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. So is there he is not no charges. Fired. He's not fired, right? As far as I know, he's on home Hello? leave, oh, pending uh, oh, whatever okay. is happening. Uh, investigation. No, no. investigation. This, it's not all right. So there might well, be actually, no, I'm not saying I hear what you're saying. Right. Right. For me, right. what, I hear what you're saying. It's, for me, it's not all right because. Mm -hmm. There's a disruption yes. in the flow. level of flow that's yes, at Westview. Yes, yes, yes. There's a disruption yes. 
in the students mm -hmm. um, looking up to somebody. Yes. There's a disruption in leadership. Yes. There's a disruption in, con there's no, it's not consistency absolutely, there. Absolutely. When you, when, okay, we're even within your home, if something happens and you know there's this turbulence and stuff is there, mm -hmm. first of all, what is, what is going to happen? Mm -hmm. All of the things that he has done, mm -hmm. gang fighting, fighting on school property, mm -hmm. minimizing bullying, mm -hmm. Assaults, mm -hmm. weapons, and school, but all of that stuff, there is a likelihood, a very strong likelihood that these, all these things are going to happen. It's going to come back again. Because the, the stabilizing yeah. force yeah. that was there yeah. is not it's the community, you know. This is the concern. It's something that right? they, they, they put in the community that they want to say how fell, you know. Yeah. And, you know. So now, know. so now that, now that this issue has come to light, mm -hmm. and we know what the the whole is that's in the community. How can how can how can we get the community to understand that they have to fill this hole until this 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 principal is reinstated in his job? Because hopefully the facts will come out, mm -hmm. and we'll, they'll they'll be you know um, dismissed mm -hmm. for and having no proof, and he'll be to return. Yeah. So how can the community fill this void that is there right now that will happen on Tuesday? When the kids go back to school, mm -hmm. and um, they're going to need some stable, do they need to see a show of numbers of parents in to, that school that they morning? They need to see yeah. parents coming out. Mm -hmm. They need to hear parents complaining about this. Yeah. They, parents need to call MP, MPP. I don't get my listen. You go everywhere. Yeah. But yeah. they need to mm -hmm. go to the trustee. Mm -hmm. They need to send messages, yeah. phone calls, yeah. emails. I don't care whatever to TDSB. Mm -hmm. To Dr. Spence, to whoever is there, somebody has to listen. Listen, this is the sixth principal in ten years mm -hmm. at Westview oh, that on. has been removed. Like it has to stop. No way. Does it stop? But never mind. No, just been removed. Has been removed. Has been removed from Westview. Oh. But not only is it that, school? is a student. Listen, Janet Finch has been has been labeled a priority neighborhood. We yeah, have no. issues. Our students have issues. Here they've got, my thing is, they've got a vision of hope. Yeah. Dr. Spence bring out his vision of hope. Here is somebody in the community who really shows, mm -hmm. I'm interested in you. Yeah. I think you're important. Yeah. I know you can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Children, students will gravitate to that. Why are they gravitating to him? Yeah. Because he's telling them, hey, you can yeah. do this. So and he's showing them how. So you say this is not the first principal that has been removed, and there's been many over the ten years. In the last ten years, uh -huh. this is the sixth principal what? that has been moved okay. from there. Do you know? Do you know any so, other reasons why those were removed? Well, some of them was incompetent. Yes. Okay. So okay. Right. No, no, no. Like, listen, the last principal I'm going to have to say was not the cream of the crop. Okay. Okay. Some people have strengths. Okay. This man is a visionary leader. Yeah. If you cannot recognize a visionary leader and see what he has done yeah. in spite of the opposition yeah. that he has had to yeah. face, yeah. if TDSB is telling me that you're thinking about your students, first look at McGinty's coming out, student first. Mm -hmm. they, are they thinking about the students no, no, first? No, obviously not. If you're thinking yeah. about the students first yeah. with this amount of numbers, like suspension rate yeah. in 2005 to 2006 at Westwood was 553. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? 553. From 2000. 10 uh -huh. to 2012, uh -huh. since the night has been in 2009, suspension rate is at 44. 44. Mm -hmm. So it's come down from 553. Yeah. Now, you're telling wow. me you're looking at stats. Yeah. You're looking at the changes that have happened there. Mm -hmm. You're looking at the improvement in student mm -hmm. like intelligence, yeah. level of, of, of growth and productivity. Yeah. Why is it that you can't see? Okay, yeah. if you're acknowledging this, yeah. and if you're thinking about the student for some why are you doing this? Why is this happening? Okay. We want to know why yeah. it's happening. I want to know why it's happening. Of course. So Carmel, what are you going to do specifically? Because this is important. Because you're the chair of the of the, of the, uh, the the parents council. What are you going to do specifically to get those parents to know? Do you have everybody's email? Well, I don't have all their email, but I have a large list of numbers. So okay. I'll be calling them. You're going to get on the phone and call them and tell them it's important is to be there. Them on Tuesday to be at the school on Tuesday school to show their support because a lot of teachers will be there because it's a first day of school for some yeah. kids yeah. but the ones who don't need to be there should be there still right. you know older kids yeah. maybe graduating right. kids Even if they have you know? the day off yeah them. they should really show some yeah. support because yeah. this is really important because if they, if suspension has come down from 553 to 44 mm -hmm. I mean that is like a miracle worker mm -hmm. 
You know, so definitely his story has got to be told. Absolutely does. Yeah. Well, you know, I hope I hope when this is over, Doctor um, Principal Knight will find it, you know, um, profitable in his in his way to come on the show and discuss what has happened to him and how he how he goes about his job. Definitely. You know, I really I really love. Never mind that. He was on CBC three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Metro Morning. Yes. And they were asking him, "How did he do this?" Mm -hmm. I think wow. they put it on the website. Wow! Like this is not this is not a secret. Yeah, people are talking about, about this. this. Yeah, this change that has happened okay. in this. Listen, in this when my I, I have to tell you, mm. I have to say this. Mm. When my son was going to Westview, mm. I was petrified. Mm. And I'm thinking, I said to him, "Do you have to go there?" I said, "Why can't you go to this school? Why can't you go?" Um, he wanted to go there, yes. and so I thought. With all my work in the community, I say, you know what? I gotta go over there, yeah. and this is when I really started going there. And mm -hmm. I thought I have to see what's happening, yeah. mm -hmm. and so I went there and I said, this is my listen. This That's was a true. place. This was a school mm -hmm. that had a really bad reputation, mm -hmm. and I have to say this, even though I'm from the community, mm -hmm. it was there. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. this is like a model school mm -hmm. that people can look at mm -hmm. because of this man's influence mm -hmm. and all these laws of the stuff. All these young people are doing well. People have to talk about yeah. this stuff. Yeah. So he was on CBC Radio, and they were talking to him and asking him, "How did you?" do it yeah. and he said that he did it yeah. with community help yes yeah. he did it by bringing people he goes to the root yes. what is the problem there's an issue here what is it somebody is trying it. to bring Find him down man yeah. Yeah. yeah so this is like so something where he's word jealousy before yes 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 yes, 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 yes. yes. there's a lot of people saying that over the years nobody could have done this yes and this bad and guy come out of nowhere yeah. and, and, it's, and yeah. in spite of the opposition and in spite of yeah. all the stress and despite of everything he did it so the, it's so, really similar so with Tara. Really, really similar with education. Really she was different. doing well in her yeah. position, and she was bringing the kids mm -hmm. lots of positive results. And here you have the stoppage again, and and, and the separation, mm -hmm. another separation anxiety that we have to go through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't mind that our students have to mm -hmm. go through. I mean, if you're really thinking about this, I'm, I'm just, my heart is just thinking about mm -hmm. what's happening to these kids, mm -hmm. who he has the newspaper have written about students mm -hmm. who really used to be. In trouble, yeah. Yeah. creating problems, yeah. problems for themselves and family. Yeah. They have really totally turned around. Yeah. Well, this is ReggaeTelevisionNetwork.com, and as you as, as you've been listening, you you've heard a, a very um, passionate discussion on problems that we have in the community, in the nation, and in in, in future in, in the future of, 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 of our people. So these are things that we really do have to spend some time with and, and really work out and think about. But until then, we're going to have something more nice, some more music. And uh, when we come back, when we come back, we're going to, we're going to um, talk about the youths. We're going to talk about the youths and, and, how, and how it really is important for you parents out there to start thinking about the youths. So at this time, Jimmy's going to sing us another happy reggae, going to make us reggae happy. And this one is called Na Give Up. Yes, Rastafari. Na Give Up. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Meditation, but I'm on hold of meditation. 
Constitution in this year. I'm a Indian, I'm a Nadifa. Yes. No matter what they say I do, I'm a Nadifa. Yes. Because the wish they must have, I'm a Nadifa. Yes. The real name of the I'm a Nadifa. Never give it up. speaks to who we are. Definitely. We can't give up. Yeah. We Absolutely can't give up. up. And that brings us back to the youth because mm -hmm. we can't give up because of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's only them. We're expecting them to be leaders of tomorrow. We Definitely. have to stand with them. We have to show them how. Mm -hmm. We have to demonstrate by our lives and the things that we do. Right? And this is possible. Like even with this, we have to let them know if something happens, you can make a difference by changing it, by yeah. saying something. Don't just sit there with it just yeah. because somebody decides that this is happening, especially when it affects you. Uh -huh. Don't be those that. No, you yeah. can't be. You yeah. can't be. You have to stand and you have to, yeah. you have to say something. Maya Angelou said, um, I heard her said once that of all the virtues, courage is the most important. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I remember when she said it, it just, it just rang so true in my mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. that I realized it takes courage to be good. It takes courage, you know, to be nice. It takes courage to work hard. It takes courage to do everything you want to do. Definitely. So, you know, it really, it, and I think, you know, sometimes I think what is lacking in our community is courage. Definitely. Courage to speak up, courage to acknowledge, courage to love. All that stuff. Courage to even compliment yeah. somebody when they're doing yeah, something good. Definitely. Like really. Yeah. If I see you and I, I like your hair, I like something about you, and I'm sitting here and I'm saying in my in my mind that I like it, and you don't know about it, yeah. mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Do anything. What does it do? Yeah. It needs to be encouraging yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to yeah. tell you. We hey, have to acknowledge each other. We do. Yeah. We do. We and don't we acknowledge each other. We have to appreciate each yeah. other. Yeah. And we also have to yeah. acknowledge, like you said, when somebody is doing a good yeah. job. Yeah. If I'm doing a good job, if you yeah. see a man doing something, you need to tell him now. Yeah. You're not going to tell him after he's dead. He can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care. But or go to his, go to his, his place and start crying. What the difference is this Yeah. You need to tell him. Yeah. So in 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 that case. So it is really something that's lacking in us that we really do have to try and exercise and bring in courage. Mm -hmm. Courage. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. I like that word, you know, because uh, over the years, you know, I came in 1975 to Toronto. Yeah. And I, do, yeah, I leave Jamaica like um, doing music. I came here, I have a family and so on, you know, and, you know, music is my passion, you know. Sounds I've like been, it. <laughs> I've been doing it here and there, but not a cheat, you know, see a lot of people say, when you're going to music, well, where's the money? There you go. It's not the money I go there for. No, it's the I've been there because I love it. Yes. You know? And you're and great at it. The money will come. The money know? will come. Once a while, the money yeah. it will come. Yeah. And, I, and you know, since a lot of people say, why do you do this? Even yeah. some relationship. Yeah. Why are you doing this so long with the money? Yeah. You say, okay, you yeah. can talk about the money, but I know what I like. I, I, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm fulfilling my, my yeah. dream, you know? And of course, why is that way? And, and, and the courage mm. that I have, you know? Mm. It's uh, to um, to continue with this thing, mm -hmm. and it's now paying off. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> you know, over the years, over the years, I've got over thirty-seven years. Yes, yes. You, you have know. to put the work in. I have to put the work in. It's not it's instant. Courage. It's not courage to I hang in there. I love that work. You yes, know, because yes. I, I've said, hey, Jimmy, over the years you're doing the music and this and that. What happened? Yeah. Because we're now all alone singing here, you know. For people for free yeah, and yeah. all kind of stuff. Doing the work. Enjoy that. Doing the work. What no? You know, it's yeah. there the, now. Yeah. And it's because of courage. Courage. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm so glad we relate to that, Jimmy, because I tell you something. Um, when I discovered that it was fear that was holding anything I was thinking back, mm -hmm. then I had to let go of fear. And when you let go of fear, courage is what takes Definitely. the place. Definitely. You know. So it is, it is a behavior, it's a learned behavior that you have to get hold of. But you also need to be giving that to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The students, have come on, and we know that students are very vulnerable. Yes. Especially when they're going through adolescence and their teen years. Mm -hmm. They need to have somebody say to them, mm -hmm. you're important. Yeah. I see something good in you and yeah. I think you can do this. Yeah. How many people, how many of the, the movie stars are here, you've heard go on there and said, I remember my grade whatever yeah. student, uh, teacher oh, right. because she mm -hmm. told me yeah that yeah. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. One word of encouragement. We need to be extending yeah. that courage yeah. to our youth. Believe this is yourself. what this gentleman does. Yeah. He tells them, yeah. this is what Mr. Knight has been doing. Yeah. He tells them, mm -hmm. you can do this. Yeah. He's giving them, instilling courage. And we need to be instilling yeah. courage among ourselves. Yeah. And standing up and saying when there's injustice, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. And when it, comes wrong. A, when it comes from a person like a teacher or a yeah. principal, it has more weight. It has more weight to it, you know, because for some reason these people are admired in our psyche. Because from the time we're little, it's the first person beside our parents that we're taken to as a teacher. So they, they hold a lot of weight. And they, and they spend a lot of hours with yeah. our students. Yes. They spend a lot of hours with your child. You yeah. need to be in. This is why parents need to be involved. Yeah. They need to come out there. You need to know who is that person. Like when the principal change over there, I'm going over there to see who is this person. What about the expression, you know, of, I expressing know yourself, you know, what about expressing yourself? Because a lot of people have things in their mind, but they just they can't, can't speak express for themselves. Words. They can't yeah. speak for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it, I, I've known that. I've seen it's so this is where, too. So this is where reading comes yes, in. Definitely. Reading comes in because yeah. reading not only gives you what is in your head, yeah. but it gives you what other, what other people's right. head. Yeah, and it also it makes it makes you realize how they form their idea yeah. and how they put the words yeah. together. Definitely. Because Reading. This is things what? that I know that I could say to people, right? Get up and say it. Mm. You know? Mm. I, I don't think I have the courage to go and say it because You're not, I'm wondering if it will really come out um, in a proper way. You know, in a proper way. But then here you are. But then here you are. You are yeah, as a therapist, I can say to you, if you want to say it and you're thinking about the person mm -hmm. and you want to be sensitive to the person, mm -hmm. that goodness that you've got is going to be transmitted there. Okay. Like really, if I, if I want to say something to you, yeah. my intention, if my intention is good, yeah. my intention is to compliment you. Right. Definitely. But when I when I, it's okay, first it's gonna it's gonna sound in my voice. It's gonna be there in my voice. It's gonna be in my face. It's gonna be in my body language. It's going to be there. You're gonna get it. Yeah. I might not be eloquent. I might not. I know, but we we might not be eloquent. But if our intention mm -hmm. is to please that person yeah. and to tell them something good about them, right. it's gonna come out. Like however you can say, this is how God made you. Yeah. This is you know maybe you can develop that later on. But where you are, you start there. Let me just say it. So this is where my cousin Peter Tosh comes in when he says it. Word, sound, and power. There it is. You see? So um, what happens is 
if you who can put such nice lyrics together Definitely. and sing such wonderful songs that touch mm -hmm. my heart mm -hmm. and you're having trouble expressing yourself when you're speaking or thinking you're expressing what about those poor poor, poor people who uh, don't even definitely. have the talent uh, that he that's has? What I was just but people, and here again, I'm going to come back to that. Yeah. We express ourselves in different ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people express by doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, you might not be, and you might feel that you're not eloquent. I'm hearing you, and I'm hearing, to me. and I'm hearing what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. But when your music, you speak, and you get the word out there with your music. So your eloquence so somebody, is in your music. This is where it is. Yeah. So you, we have different giftedness, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. I mean, I don't so know. Find your gift. What you do well, just do that. Yeah, man, I see that. Do that. what you do well. Yeah, it's coming out. 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 It's the coming is enough. True, true. Yeah. You know that they um yeah. they wait, they think well, yeah. but yeah. you know, yeah. just the intention. What's yeah. your intention? I'm here to support. That's true. And you might not be eloquent. Uh, yeah, I understand I'm, that. I'm talking, I understand I'm gonna say whatever. That. Yeah. Look who's here. Parents yeah. are here. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. I understand. That's and of course, true. because they they presented themselves, you know exactly yeah. how to deal with that. True. True. And to and that's, that and that's why they that's why they're here. Yeah. So we use whatever we can do well. Definitely. And we just walk with that. Yeah. So this is proof again that we need each other. <laughs> we need each other. We've Absolutely. got to be a community. We We've got to be each other, each other's keeper. Yep. We've got to be each other's brother and sister. <laughs> and we got to be the, in, in, that way in the broader community too. Because it's not just about black people. It's I mean, black people do have their problem and we have to work it out. True. But we also have to deal with the wider community. Definitely. And we love everybody. And those problems are in the other communities as well. Of course. Oh, yeah. And they and they and they can yeah. deal with they deal with that and the government help them deal with that. No, we have to deal with ours and the government has to help us deal with ours too. You know, and that starts in the school by like putting this teacher back this principal back at his job. Yep. And maybe continue maybe continue investigation mm -hmm. while he's still at his job. Yeah, but and then if you prove something mm -hmm. Then you come and say, we've proven this, yeah. we'll remove you. Yeah. Okay. But you can't just remove him and say, we're going to prove it. Okay, yeah. but here is something. This allegation has been out there from mm -hmm. the time he started. Wow. Okay? What? What makes this just so different? He, this is what, <laughs> exactly what we're saying. It does not make any sense. Okay. Because you allow that person to be in position. Right. You allow them to work and yeah. build and do all of this stuff yeah. while you're investigated. Mm -hmm. You, you came and gave a verbal thing, mm -hmm. because I have spoken uh, to Mr. Knight before. He was given a verbal mm -hmm. clearance mm -hmm. that he was exonerated from whatever charges because really? there was not. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. This is why everybody's saying, like, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Why is this happening? I don't understand. It's like double jeopardy. Don't understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you have done this mm -hmm. and you allow him to be there mm -hmm. while it's being done, mm -hmm. like, okay, so help me to understand what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is it? Yeah. So, um, did he do something new? This is, this is what I'm saying now. Somebody else is come it forward. something criminal? Is mm -hmm. it something? What is it? Yeah. Has he been charged? Mm -hmm. There are no charges. Mm -hmm. There are no formal thing. There's no arrest. There's no. So hey, what is it? You want to know? Yeah. Well, I tell you, I want to make sure that I get another song in from Jimmy because this dis this discussion is wonderful. Is that memories. Memories. This discussion is 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 wonderful, and I'm hoping that it it resonate with people out there, and it it sparks some kind of interest that you take part but we also have to understand that music makes us feel good and we do need reggae happiness throughout all this problem that we're having so here's some more reggae happiness this is a this love is called, song this is a love, love song oh love song <laughs> this is called memories from jimmy reed <laughs> I'm 
Discussion. Okay. You know, before we wrap up, I just want to say I want I want to give you the, the, uh, 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 at the moment to the, the speak to the people out there about you know your therapy and what you do. Just just give our people some hope. Give me give me give them something. Give them how to hold on and how to you know get there. Well, life is a struggle. Mm -hmm. We face issues, oppositions every day. Mm -hmm. But we, we, we said one important word, we used one of the important words today is courage. We always have to have courage. And I'm also a minister. My courage comes from my spirituality. Okay. So that whatever, and I know that people who are listening might have different religions, different beliefs. Mm -hmm. Whatever that higher power is, you go there. Mm -hmm. You get the hope, you get the courage, you get the inspiration that you need. Mm -hmm. But once you've gotten that, you need to extend that to the people around you, the immediate people around you. Yes. Because when you give it out, you get it back. It's a revolving mm -hmm. door. You give courage, it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. You extend love, it comes back to you. And we just have to love one another. We just have to relate mm -hmm. to one another. We just have to let people know that they're important. Yeah. You see something good about somebody, tell them. Tell them. 
You think somebody's hair, even just their hair looks nice, say it, mm -hmm. rather than just holding it. We, we need to be encouraging one another. We need to stand together. And especially with this, we need to, Mr. Knight's vision at Westview is where truth, justice, and love prevail mm -hmm. above all else. Mm -hmm. Above all else. Mm -hmm. For me, truth, justice prevail above everything else. When we love one another, mm -hmm. that comes back. When we see something wrong, we stand up. Right now, I'm standing because this is wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this, and I don't care who it is, mm -hmm. this is wrong. That's right. If we're thinking about our students, we're thinking about mm -hmm. our youth, we're thinking about the next generation, this is wrong. This is wrong. And we need to be able to speak the truth and fix it. Mm -hmm. whoever, whoever can listen, whoever has to listen, knock some doors down. Yeah. Parents out there, you need to understand the level of power that you have. Mm -hmm. Because these are your children, you need to speak up. Yeah. Go to the trustee, go to whoever, let them know you are displeased with something that's happening. Not, not just this, anything that's happening. Say it. Good. We need to express it. Carmel, so tell me, um, what, is your, what is your message to the, 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 the women, the, the parents who you are chair of right now? Give them something that they need to know. Okay, well I want these parents to know that I am counting on them to come out mm -hmm. in support of Mr. Knight. We have a petition going around so that we can sign this petition. I'm going around in the communities. There are others who are taking petitions around. Mm -hmm. And we need to just come out and stand up, not just for Mr. Knight, but for our children. Yes. Because all in all, we're here for the children yes. who is going to be suffering most from this. Yes. So I just want them to get out. Yeah. You know, stop sitting down and, oh, I'm not into the community thing. Right. We need to get involved in the community. Right. We need to know what's happening in our schools, what is happening to our children right. when they go through those right. doors. So I'm just asking these parents to come out Tuesday morning. I need to see parents out there um, showing up to say, look here, we will not have this. We are not taking this lying down. We cannot have this happening. So I'm calling on all these parents to come out and support us in this. Very good. Good. And of course, I come to Jimmy, <laughs> who has delighted us and give us not enough love and enough reggae happiness <laughs> this morning. Yes. Yes. So I appreciate you. What what what, what are you, you going to well, do? I don't I don't have much to say on this this topic here. You know, that is, I heard of it since mm -hmm. you guys got here. What I what I want to talk about is um is uh, especially music. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of young people in the music business today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I like, I'd like to encourage them to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Don't put your passion down. Yes. Always yes. believe in yourself. Yes. Like your son there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Believe in what he's doing. And he's doing a fine job. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Don't let no one tell you so you can do this as you can. Especially right. that. To what you have to do. Put your passion and hard work in. Yeah. And mm -hmm. some, of, some of it really too. Yes. Always, you yes. know what I mean? So I don't know much about the politics. I'm a musician. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, don't give up. Right? And don't give up. Don't yeah. give up. Don't <laughs> give up. <laughs> well, it has been an absolutely wonderful show. I am so thankful to my guests for coming in today, expressing themselves articulately, passionately, and with enough love. <laughs> yes. So I thank Reverend Star. Sky Star, one of my favorite names from now on. <laughs> and, I, and I thank uh, Carmel Henry. I watch her uh, at that. Just, just like a star. Perfect star. Perfect star. And Perfect of course, Jimmy. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Again, reggaetelevisionnetwork.com. We come to you live from Scarborough every Saturday morning. Join us and join the fight. It's about Ja Rastafari. Yeah. So, Bye. Thank Bye. you.